Like, I even tell people now, like, maybe I fucking went too hard. Like, you get it when you're built. I do feel like there's a building the foundation time, and you have to you have to hone in, and maybe you don't do shit in so, certain times. I call that making, building the foundation, you know? But there's stuff in life you got to enjoy the whole journey. And if you're just focused on the wins or this or being this, like being the best podcaster in the world, and that's all that fucking matters, and then you'll miss your fucking kids, and you'll do this, and you'll do this. 100%. I'm on Joe Rogan, but oh, fucking when did you see your, your fucking favorite son? I'm not saying have a favorite but fuck it. <laughs> well i only have one son okay, so i do but i got two daughters yeah, so it's like the daughters are the rough ones because my youngest one is a little shit and she'll yeah. be like dad i'm your favorite right yeah, and yeah. i'm like i can't tell you that <laughs> i can't confirm or deny yeah. that, that's what i'm saying but you're but you say you haven't seen your kids for th for 30 days it's yeah, like to me that's not, not that's not how it works it doesn't that's matter what, what i did ever my do. career i used yeah. to have a career traveling all over the world i loved what i did and yeah. fucking fucked off just as much as i worked but i worked really hard and, yeah, yeah and got to go cool places and do cool things with fucking awesome people yeah but my kids took me away from that dude i quit that my daughter's 13 i quit it 13 years ago man because it's a fucking important man that's and I, I don't regret any of that. No, no, you shouldn't. Yeah. And that's and that's a family person. That I get some people aren't that aren't connected the same like that are like that's different. And I can't mm -hmm. hate someone that's not connected like that. I get it. You mean you if you're fucking you don't feel you don't. I'm yeah. not gonna say you should like yeah, yeah, I think you should, but I'm it's not my point to say. You know, and right. but that's how I know how I do it. And family is the most important. So if I'm I guess sometimes you gotta sacrifice stuff and if you gotta go something for two weeks because it's gonna benefit your family or it's you a balance, this, right? Or this or this. Yeah. But if but if you're telling me you're gone months out of the time and this and that and this and that and it's fucking how many years later or whatever or whatever, it's no, that doesn't it's not worth it. Any especially in kids' lives, dude. We see the fucking re changes for weeklies and monthlies now. It's a crazy thing to watch. Like they they just change. It's insane, you man. Know? And, and you know what's crazy is we just let people in. This is something that I'm starting to realize even more, especially now that my kids are like in grade school and like they're changing. They change teachers every year, and they have different perspectives. And like yeah. we're living in such a crazy. I don't know that the world is that crazy right it's now. It's always been crazy, but we're it's, seeing it everywhere now. We we're can, seeing a different see, side of it, before right? Before crazy was just happening in corners of the world and we didn't pay attention because you can't. We can only see as far as our eyeballs could, but it's everywhere now. now. everybody can see everything, everybody, right? Everybody can see anything, log into it. And it's and On that point, I think you're saying with like different teachers and shit, I'm on a, which I can be whatever, but... Most likely my kids won't ever go to school until they choose to. And that's like at a time. And I'm... I'm living that because schools weren't good for me. I, I they were always trying to put me on meds. Or the, I was a crazy kid, you know. <laughs> like, but like authority wasn't important to me. If you acted the wrong way, I didn't care if you were authority. Yeah, you could have just act that way because you were older. Like that's how I lived. So, so you can take and imagine I was always in trouble, you know. And and I don't. I can. My kids ain't gonna be much different. I can. They're. We're, I have two boys, and I'm raising them. Fucking. I'm raising them like that. They're not just little obedient fucking little pawn soldiers like that. Which I think is super important, man. You know? I think you have to. I think there. I I feel like America in general is living too much of a sheltered, pampered life, dude. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's badass men that forged this co country, you know, from the well, get go. Yeah. So well, it's yeah. like. I think we need to keep that in perspective, man. I think I, that that's one positive thing of social media. If you're using it for the right things or the, the right, right things, influences, yeah. you know, I think that that it I, is a positive. Like, like I said, in that in that sense, right now, I can't trust who I send my kid to go learn from most of the day. Yeah, and that's where I'm at and how I see school because it it wasn't good for me then, and I don't think I think it's worse now. You know, they try, like I said, they try to put me in a box or this or that or whatever, just because I had a lot of energy. You know, and the thing is, kids' I, I, minds are so malleable let, too, man. They're so easily influenced. There's a reason know? why we, you know, put limitations on what kids can and cannot do, oh, yeah. and what they can see and what they can't see, right? Because absolutely, so they're easily influenced. You know, they're easily influenced. So why do you want another human influence them that they they could? You don't even know what they do behind closed doors. That person, yeah. that person actually hates life hates things this or that or that person's actually you know a justin bieber fan <laughs> <laughs> don't hate the justin bieber i just kidding that dude's come up in a weird life